so can you guess what I did this Saturday yesterday and what I won can you guess from everything you see hmm I'll pause for a second all right the seconds over so we went to our OTS local tournament and we won our playmat for the deck we actually play so it's more like I have other playmats but there's nothing like the feel of winning a playmat but I went X1 so I didn't get it as a first place prize but I got it in the raffle so either way it's like coming in second place and still winning with my deck it's like my goal was to win with the deck and I wanted this playmat so much and I was not gonna buy it for like a hundred dollars online like it's just ridiculous for a playmat but you know my goal and determination was to go to locals win this tournament win this play mat for the deck i actually play my way and go from there so i have a few shout outs one is to farfa for telling me about this card and this card put in work when i drew it it shut down the fusion based decks that um i forgot what they're called but the fusion decks that bring them out and then anything six or higher this is basically like a mystic mind for them they can attack and they cannot activate their effect so this helped me a bunch of times when i saw it and even when i misplayed once they brought out the 3000 light dragon by banishing two lights in the dark and i was like oh crap he's gonna banish something and then go off but then i forgot i had this my opponent was like oh past turn i was like huh he goes yeah i can't do nothing because you have your trap card activated and i forgot i activated my own trap card and i had it on the field so it was like funny as hell and I was like, oh shit, I misplayed thinking something else. And I'm like, I have game. So then I drew and then OTK'd him because he summoned his dragon attack mode. And we go into exceeds, which go into stoic challenge just for the OTK. But even without stoic challenge, I just OTK'd with um, Cavalier or whatever this card is. I can never say his name right. But this card, they really didn't know about. And it put in work, like sacrificing all my life points and then doubling a monster's attack. And then you can pay zero as a cost, like next turn, and activate his effect again. You already gave up your life points, so you can pay zero to activate it again. And they didn't know about it. Everybody I played at this locals, I did not know any of them. They didn't know the deck I played. They didn't know what to counter. They didn't know what to do. So I had the element of surprise. So I caught them off guard and I just OTK, like, I too old them. And though I, you know, I feel bad, you know, because I know how it is to be on the receiving and end up losing, but it's like I was so determined to get the playmat. And then this card also put in work because they played the trap card Dimension Barrier, I think it's called. And they said exceeds once they figured out what I was playing. And I was like, that's fine. So then I went into Joker Straight special queen search out jack and then tribute queen for jack and i drew a card and then since jack is a five or higher vanilla i just kept beating over their monsters with jack and then one person i told him what it what it did and I, I guess he assumed it's only on my turn he summoned a really strong monster uh Eldritch, and it, it was 35 and he said i was hacking to your monster and i'm like my spell card works whether my monster is attacking or is attacked so I get the boost anyway, and I kept saying boost, <laughs> and like the anime, <laughs> high school XDD. Um, but it's just funny. I just like saying boost <laughs> because of the dragon boost. But this put in that work, and I just beat over. And then when I went, play the spell card, and just bring out king and queen, draw another card, because queen was special summon as a vanilla. I draw a card with this card. So it's a steady plus one drawing and then the recursion like I'm every turn I'm gonna draw one. And the exceed fusion or um synchro monsters that use a vanilla as material also get the boost. So my exceeds get the boost as long as they use queen as material or jack as material. It has to be a vanilla card used to bring it out. Or a five or higher vanilla. So this also boosted them. It boosts the those monsters, so I played it as one, and these are like I said the MVP. The other Elders cards is, I was looking with Wifey on the phone last night, and I was like, all right, my boy wants the new Harpies card, and I want the new Blue Eyes, the Harpies Dragon, and I wanted the Mystical Elf new card for my Blue Eyes deck, 
And then this card, I passed by it because somebody posted it on Facebook. Um, it was those two cards I wanted plus this. So then it's like I scrolled up real fast and then I said, wait a minute. I scrolled back down and I was like, this is a light warrior. Let me see what you do. The effect that you can normal summon this without tribute. I'm like, that's broken because it's a level 5 light. I can get it on the field for free. Then it banishes the card so you could get rid of something. Or not even that. It's like it's a light warrior level 5. Normal summon it without tribute. Then special summon Jack um, Joker's Knight, which is also a 5. You special summon him. You could go into a free Utopia or any rank 5 monster. And then looking at all his other materials, um, I mean effects, is you can discard a card, which is perfect with this deck by discarding either joke, um, the monster, the spell, or the trap that recycle. You can get them in the graveyard to search off of him, and then you get recursion anyways. And they recur him too. Like, those re recycle to hand by putting back a light warrior monster in your, from your graveyard to the extra deck or a regular deck. So he's a light warrior, so even if he goes to the graveyard by himself and you had discarded one of these for his effect and it got negated and then he got destroyed, that's in graveyard. It would put this back into your deck and then you get your Joker Street back. Or if you need them in the, ha in the graveyard because queens are in the graveyard, you can use him to just discard and search a card and, that's, and so forth. But um, before I get all topic... It says you can search a level seven or higher monster, a dragon, a sit dark six, a level six monster machine, or a level five water warrior. So being an old school player, the only things that came to mind was red eyes black dragon. It searches. Then Joey was like, "Oh, it searches Jinzo," and I was like, "Oh my god, that's even more ingenious! I can actually use that to search out Jinzo, and I can search out that." Where I can normal summon this, discard a card, search Jinzo, I could sp pay my spell card, special queen, search out king, tribute queen for Jinzo, and it's like guaranteed off of just this card and two card combo, I could get him on the board with a Jinzo on board to shut down any um, decks that play back row. And then I picked up the cards that sat Saturday, yesterday. And I'm like, I'm going to play them in my deck. I'm like, more than likely, I'm going to run into traps more than anybody special summoning. So I'm like, all right, I'll side in two and one Jinzo. And then if they are playing traps, I'll side in a third and a second Jinzo since it's now searchable. And I can just go from there. And I happen to run across traps. And then I'll just side in more on the next turn. Like, three eldest players. So it's like... I perfectly I have the perfect search for it instead of trying to hard draw it no I got more chances of getting it in this card put in work so it's like the exact combo and think of it even with change of heart they had two powerful monsters on the field you want to get rid of you could change a heart the monster that we already know what it does I'm just getting it out the way you could change a heart one of their monsters tribute that that would negate his effects change a heart tribute it for this now you got rid of one problem then when he hits the field since he was tribute summon banish the other one then discard a card to search like this has so much synergy with the my bet my deck my build my way it's just amazing and jinzo just shut down the trap so then i can just continue just to otk now this would stop this but if they're playing a back row deck with traps you don't have to worry about that because it's nothing but back row traps they're stuck on Jinzo, and then you could just keep drawing one, and then playing the spell to just summon way more monsters and just push for game like it's an OTK deck. So I won with my knights, and I got this for top eight, and I got second place. So and then I got this off for of the raffle. So first place got the got it, and then being you know I was a little down, but then I got it off for of the raffle. It's like I won it anyways, and you win a raffle, so I still won it. <laughs> And I went X1 with my freaking knights. And I still didn't open the pack yet. But I was just showcasing the MVPs. And they didn't know nothing about this. This came out not so long ago. This was perfect for putting out on fusion decks. And this just put in the work. Even as a one off to draw, I'm like, it's so broken. And this is a brand new card. I just love the synergy with this deck and helped me search out Jinzo. And like I made a good call. I'm like, I'm going to probably run into decks that play traps. And let me try him out. And if they didn't run traps, I can always take this out, 
like if they're running link monsters i'll take that out and put in vanity's fiend and ruler i could take out jenzo i'll still like this so it's like i could i could take him out either way like his banishing is not bad by itself without the searching normal banish and then special summon and go off with your knights because special queen search king summon king special summons jack now regardless you have him and jack on the field two fives and two fours so you're good either way <sighs> i'm just happy i got the payment and i won it so and i earned this shit so and now i'm gonna just open the packs but wifey's gonna open the packs because she wants to open them so i'm happy to incorporate her in my video and we'll see what we pull if we pull anything else it'll just be plus plus but Let's see what she gets. <laughs> you opening it so delicately. <laughs> you can just, yeah. Point the camera a little more down. Yeah. So it's common, common, and then that's the hollow token collector. And then you can open up the second one. I love it. Got the plain mat and the field center. Ooh, and what's the fusion set? The last card. Is that worth anything? I don't know. But that's the hollow and that's the other two cards. I didn't even know this came as a common. I mean, it hurts my soul. I like secrets and ghost rares, but... The people I played were so humble and everything. And the fact that they lost to something that wasn't meta, unique, and one of a kind... Like, they they were happy about that. And it was, I made cool new friends, Pe new duelists to play with, and everything. And uh, just love it. And like I said, they didn't know. They said they didn't know what to cite in, what to to add to stop it. And I love that playing a whole bunch of people that didn't know what deck I play and how it works. Just catching them off guard, having the element of surprise is just perfect to me. Because everybody else who knows what I play, how I play. They know exactly what to side in and stop. So, being these this group of people, none of them knew me. It's like I had the advantage. So, these these this is new to the the deck from the last the build I put up. I added this because this just came out literally. I re put this back in and I sided in Jinzo. I basically put these cards in. I took out the Vanity's Fiend and Ruler. Since I expected traps, so I put these in. But you can always, like, if they're special summoning a lot more, no back row, you could take him out, put Vanity's Fiend and Ruler in. With the spell card, it's a free three monsters on board. And then, even like if I normal summon him, banish one of their monsters, I could play that. That gives me an extra normal summon, a special summon for Queen. And then off of that, you can immediately summon afterwards. So you can tribute a free tribute for like Genzo or Vanity's Fiend, Ruler. Because now you have this on the field. That special summon queen, now you got two monsters on field, then you can tribute both of them for Vanity's ruler. Or one of them for Fiend to shut down the monsters that the decks that special summon a lot. Uh it's all up to you and how you play it. Like I was running Slifer and stuff, but they can go around Slifer. So I was like I could just play Fiend and a uh, ruler. And now they can't special summon at all. They're just stuck and normally if they don't have back row or anything, they pass turn and you just continue to OTK. Even with Fanity's Fiend on the field, you're both slow playing one, one going one back and back. And if they have no monsters to set, because it's all high levels, you just summon another Queen King normally, not the spell, but like whatever normal monster you summon, four or lower. And then you're just nipping at their light points, and normally that's game anyways, because if they special summon a lot to win, they're not going to have nothing. So that's basically it. Look, team, what we got? We got our playmat team. Let's go. And now I'm back at the labs, of course. And we're going to figure out how to make our deck even better. Different styles and everything. Because just because you win doesn't mean you stop growing. So, hope you enjoy. Like, if you want. Just sharing the love.